On Capitol Hill now, Congress is reacting to news of the Iranian prisoner swap, and it comes as Republican lawmakers propose a bill to keep the government funded until the end of October. Nicole Killian joins us now from Capitol Hill with more. Uh, good to see you again, Nicole. Um, what reaction are we seeing uh, on the Hill so far regarding the Iran prisoner swap? I think the news is still being digested, but we do know even before this swap happened that some congressional Republicans were opposed at least to the way in which some of this money uh, was being handled, as was referenced in some of your previous uh, segments. Obviously, there's about $6 billion in frozen assets uh, that will now be transferred back to the Iranians. And so some, for instance, like uh, Congressman Mike Turner, who spoke with uh, Face the Nation on Sunday, said uh, that he is concerned about putting a price on Americans' heads, and even though uh, this money is supposed to be used for humanitarian aid, there is concern that on his part that that could be moved around, and we've seen uh, that type of sentiment echoed by other congressional Republicans who worry that this is some kind of sweetheart deal, potentially. All right, so let's talk about the looming government shutdown. House Republicans reached an agreement over the weekend among themselves. Uh, you know, break down the agreement, the sort of kicking the can down the road. Well, that's usually the case with these short-term funding bills. I mean, it buys them more time to kind of work through a broader agreements. We obviously know that Congress right now is working on a dozen appropriation bills that have to get through Congress, and that's just not going to be feasible to try to do all of that in the month of September. One bill already is stalled in the House uh, regarding defense appropriations. So you have this short-term bill that would basically uh, cut uh, funding across the board by 8 uh, percent, with the exception of uh, Veterans Affairs. The Defense Department includes uh, more provisions with respect to uh, border security, but it does not include funding for Ukraine or disaster relief, and that is something that the Biden administration had been pushing for. That's also so something that many congressional Democrats would like to see as part of a package. And even some Senate Republicans as well feel very strongly, at least, for instance, with respect to Ukraine, that that funding needs to be included. So uh, this CR is probably going to be a non-starter uh, mm -hmm. for the rest of Congress, even though it was negotiated by uh, these two different groups of House Republicans, members of the House Freedom Caucus and the uh, Main Street Caucus. But it's unlikely to go anywhere, which begs the question once again, <laughs> what can lawmakers do to try try to avert a shutdown before the end of the month. Right, right, exactly. Well, uh, I know you will be listening in the hallways and uh, giving us any information you can find. Uh, Nicole, thank you very much. You bet.